and I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of the Islamic Republic of Iran to be followed by Mozambique, Sierra Leone, and China. Thank you. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. While the full statement of my delegation will be submitted to the Secretariat, here I would just touch upon some basic remarks. But before that, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the two co-chairs, Biro and the ISDR Secretariat for their tireless efforts in this process. Today, the very close relationship between sustainable development, disaster risk reduction, and climate change is an established fact. Hence, there is a need for harmonizing between the second Hugo framework for action, sustainable development goals, and climate change in an efficient, comprehensive, and transparent manner. As regards the current process, we believe that the diverse economic, social, and cultural condition of countries, and in particular the developing countries, should be well recognized. This important consideration can and shall be taken into account either in defining the indexes and standards for assessment of implementation of HFA2 or during the Third World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction. We also believe that the overall proposal of the HFA2 should be regarded as supplementary to the national policies and strategies. To that end, and in defining any monitoring mechanism or rendering any kind of assistance, the guiding principles of humanitarian assistance emanating from the UN Charter, that is the sovereignty and consent of the affected country, should be fully respected. Mr. Co-Chair, within the second Hugo Framework for Action and in the deliberations before and during the Third World conferences, Conference, some important factors necessary for making this process successful to our understanding are as follows. First, addressing technology and knowledge gaps and challenges among the countries as underlying elements for reducing risk factors without any discrimination or political considerations. Second, removing undue restrictions or limitations which jeopardize ser seriously disaster risk reduction efforts. Third, developing common methodologies, meth methodologies and standards as appropriate for improving the quality of risk reduction at national and international levels. Fourth, the determining role for the principle of shared responsibility, common but differentiated responsibility, to be applied on all relevant activities. Fifth, enhancing financial assistance and allocation of sufficient resources, especially for the developing countries, without which the achievement of the HFA2 will not be fulfilled. To that end, these matters should be fully considered in the deliberations before and during Sendai Conference for full engagement of international financial organizations. Six, enhancing education and training for disaster risk, risk reduction at public as well as policy making levels. And, and seven, focusing on urban disaster, especially in developing countries. Last but not the least, I would like to reiterate our active and constructive engagement for promoting the goals of the WCDRR and adopting and implementing a balanced and all-inclusive post-2015 framework for disaster risk reduction. I thank you. I thank the distinguished representative of the Islamic Republic of Iran.